Today we have got a small gauge which is a little bit special. Browning, about three years ago now, introduced the 525 Crown as an EWA special. For those who don't know, that's a show in Germany every March, and what they do is they essentially make limited editions, which they then take orders from um, primarily UK and French dealers. And they bought the Crown out in 12 gauge and 20 gauge, and then I think last year, well we've lost a year from COVID at least, so I think 18 months ago they did 28 gauge, and this year, for the first time, we have got the 525 Crown in 410. How cool is that? So, the reason I'm excited about this gun, I'll tell you there's a few reasons I'm excited about this gun, is this is actually the first high grade 410 to hit UK shores from Browning in certainly as long as I can remember in the gun trade. I think you might have been able to get a um no I, I can't actually remember they did a satori grade six which was an american spec gun which had a black action with gold game birds on it um but from memory that was back in the late 80s early 90s so since then we've had nothing and if you're a brownie fan and you like small gauges you are going to love this so as you may or may not know the browning 410s are built on the 20 gauge actions so it's a 20 gauge action with scaled down barrels. Was exactly the same with the 28 gauge 525s. Obviously this is a 525 action, only in 410. Now, I can imagine there's people screaming at the screen saying, the problem with that is Matt, it'll be really heavy. Now, I actually like the fact it's really heavy and the feedback we've had on this gun so far also suggests that other people like the fact it's heavy. Now I've just weighed this, this is a, a 30 inch barrel version and it's just under seven and a half pounds, seven pounds, six ounces. Which granted is the same weight as something like a Beretta Silver Pigeon Game Gun, double E double L, 525 game in a 12 gauge. However, what these guns are designed for is they're designed for a challenging sporting shooter or who wants a challenge and that's obviously the idea with the, the small gauge. We've already talked about 20 gauge and it's no different with 410. You've got people who are at the top of their game in terms of game shooting, pardon the pun, and what they want is they want to be challenged and this is the gun for them. Because ultimately, it weighs the same as their 12 or double EWL -E or even their 20 ball MK60. So therefore, the gun, the feel of the gun isn't any different and how it performs and how it swings is the same. And that for me is an absolute winner. If you look at most 410s on the market, you've got Okay, we'll start at the, the bottom end. We've got sort of coughs and yield it's which are on alloy actions, which are very, very light, very whippy. And then if you go to something like a Beretta, like a Silver Pigeon, um, a little bit heavier, but nowhere near as heavy as this. They would certainly be under seven pounds, probably six and a half-ish, because they're built on a, a 28 gauge action. So it is a smaller frame to what we're looking at here. So from that point of view, it's great because it feels like a 12 bore but if you're a serious game shooter you will know exactly what i'm talking about 410 caliber on a 20 gauge action you can see that if you look quite clearly there's a lot of meat in them barrels it is a 410 on a 20 gauge frame which i've already said many times okay so this gun has been produced in very very small numbers i believe 50 worldwide and that includes 28 and 30 inch barrel versions less than 30 have come into the uk so I wanted to get one on camera quickly because, like I said, it's been a long, long time since Browning have produced a high-grade 410. You can see that it's got a solid game rib. 6mm game rib, 30-inch barrels, multi-choke, it's got Invector multi-chokes because they've never actually produced a 410 with Invector Plus. And... The game scene that you can see on the action is now, I would imagine most people have seen this because there's quite a few crowns out there. Uh, it's the same on the Ultra XS Pro crown, which of course we've done a video on, so do check that out. So what you've got is you've got this hand finished, deep scroll work with the game scene on. If you look on the bottom, you've got some kind of dog, a pointer. I think this is a bit more subtle, a bit more traditional, and as a gun, it has been really, really popular regardless of the caliber. So we've talked about the barrels and the action, which, are case, which is essentially a, 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 40, a 410, 525 game one. 
Obviously the engraving is different, which you can see. It's got engraved barrel wings, which you wouldn't get with the grade one. Uh, grade four stroke five, European, probably Turkish walnut. Really, really nicely finished. And I am led to believe hand checkered. You've got your standard browning high grade traits, which you've got your dropper points and your vacant oval. And on the back end, 15 inches length of pull with a Pacmire pad with a solid top just to make it um, snag free mounting. And it just looks absolutely fabulous. It looks like a scaled down version, obviously, of a 12 bore, but with the added bonus in my point of view of having that extra bit of weight. Game four end, rounded game four end, as with all Crown game guns, automatic safety. And like I said, just to go back to it, <clears throat> what you've got is you've got something that is supremely reliable because it's a Japanese built Browning 525 and they are bulletproof. Three inch chambers. So I don't know what cartridges you can put in these uh, and what's available in three inch for shooting. I'm gonna use the word tall, loosely, pheasants. Um, but I would imagine that if you're a good shot and you use a, I don't know, 16, 19 grams, something like that, you will be able to bring, bring pheasants down. That's what it, that is what it is. If you look at the last few years, we've had um, <coughs> quite a few of the Continental brands, Rosini, Cesar Guarini, that have been bringing in four tens in longer barrels, even longer than this, some 32 inch. And they've been popular because people like to, you know, like to be challenged. And I keep using that word because I can't think of anything else. Honestly, I think it will be an investment because like I've said at the start of the film, Browning haven't produced a gun like this in this caliber for a, a very, very long time. As with all crowns, you do get a very, very swanky deluxe leather trimmed Browning case with this sort of red velour that looks like the inside of a Jaguar XJ6 inside. And I am just gonna open the, the little box of tricks to show you. So you can see how teeny tiny the chokes are. Now, I would imagine that one of the questions people are wondering is, is it steel shot proofed? It is steel shot proofed. It's CIP steel shot proofed. Okay, so there you have got the little Invector choke. Uh, the gun comes supplied with four chokes. Skeet quarter, half and three quarters. You wouldn't really want a full choke with the 410 because let's face it, there ain't a lot of lead to start with and they're tight enough as it is. So four chokes, trigger lock, really nice presentation case all the usual bunts regards to warranty and proof certificates. And like I said, for the, for, for the Browning lover, this is absolutely the thing to buy because it's gonna be so much fun, early season partridge, something like that, certainly on the clays. And just reverting back to what I said about steel. So standard performance steel, CIP proofed, obviously chrome lined, three inch chambers, multi choke and just to reiterate, the great thing for me about this gun is the weight. Yes, 410s are designed to be nice and dainty for chucking about, but this is a particular gun that's designed to do a purpose. And I think the people that will buy this will be people who've already got a 20 ball crown, already got a 28 ball crown, and ultimately it's about completing the set. And this is such a cool little gun. If you want any information, on the very few uh, guns that we've got left, just give us a shout, drop us an email, um, call us on the phone, comment below, whatever. Do not hang around though, this is a gun which is gonna be here today, gone tomorrow, literally. And other than that, thanks for watching, see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.